Philadelphia. I've been in Boston for, I don't know, 20 years now. I grew up in a, um, a single parent home, but not a broken home, with my mother and my younger sister. And I was always the rule follower. I was the one that sort of did what everybody expected me to do in school and in my behavior. And uh, I got really good at math in high school, so everybody said I should go into finance and accounting, which I did, because you could get a good job and there weren't that many women of color or black women in uh, finance. And so, you know, so on my life went. I stayed in corporate America for many years, but always had a, um, a passion for helping people get from point A to point B is really how I could put it. When I look back over my life, people seem to come to me when they feel stuck, which is why I dubbed myself, or actually my friends originally dubbed me the Pathfinder. And so um, I took my life learnings and really wanted to understand why some people make it and some people don't. And a lot of what I found was it, it was not about skill, rather it was about how to navigate, how to show up, how do people experience you, how do people experience what you have to offer, what is it that they remember of you. And so my business started off as personal branding, but over time, people started to come to me again to help them navigate further. Um, so I left my corporate job in 2010. I started this pathfinding firm, and we do consulting and workshops, and also work with personalities, um, again, on strategy, sort of when they've presented themselves one way but realize that they can't reconcile it with who they really are. And so then how do you do that? Uh, so Pathfinder shows up in a lot of ways, and that's, that's what I'm doing, and I also have not looked back. Thank you.